Greg, I'd like to thank you and Dan for meeting with us to do a, a very, very long name, a post-mortem on our construction project. You had a church that had uh, approximately attendance of around 600 people, Sunday school somewhere in the 300. You were still having three services at that point, different types of services. Uh, you had buildings that had been added onto over the years that did not have a street presence. You were looking for a team that could come in and help you explore what would your site capacity handle it, it, knowing that long term you wanted to have a thousand member sanctuary with all the support facilities that would go with that in the educational space. And Jack and I just wanted to spend a little time letting you go back and tell us how you started the process, how you chose Trail as your design build team along with Signature, as well as give us a review of how we did uh, as you went through the process of actually building it. I'm happy to do that. Um, as the building committee chair, I had a very large building committee, 25 members on the committee, you guys might remember. And we all knew that was too big of a committee. Um, I will note that, you know, I didn't pick that size, but uh, once we were stuck with that size of group, uh, we had quite a task. But we, we went through the process of selecting our partner, not a contractor, but a partner, by looking at the capabilities of, them, uh, of the different uh, people out there. We decided we wanted a design-build uh, partner. We wanted somebody who had architectural uh, abilities and construction abilities woven together so there was no more of a this and that between the two. Um, as you guys are aware, you were selected. You were selected for several reasons, uh, but most of all we were convinced that you had the construction ability and the design ability, architectural ability, in-house and could complete that for us. Um, but I'm going to tell you from the top that the Trail Signature team gets an A-plus grade from us. This facility is absolutely beautiful. It was built at or under budget. It, uh, it exceeded any expectation that we would have had. It was an outstanding, outstanding result. And the church is unbelievably excited about it, even the people that normally aren't excited about things that will always find something wrong have not found anything wrong. So and, and the process, too. Was, not, the end result, I, obviously, is here. But the process of the construction side of it was was done very well. My my number one pro on your list is that your process, Neil, worked. In when you met with us and you described a, a process that's worked, and you showed us what we called Neil's triangle, quality, cost, and size, and talked about you know um, we're going to work this through, get creative, don't put yourself on a on a budget constraint so that we can free think during the master planning phase. I knew we had a real player because you guys worked harder than anybody I've seen for whatever money we paid you for master planning program. It was, it was, you worked very hard to prove to us you were the right company. That worked out ideally. You guys, uh, Trail and Signature, both were with us through the entire process. As you explained your triangle, as you explained the process, the surveying the people, you helped us with fundraising, you gave us fundraising ideas. Um, it, You've done a lot more than be a contractor to this church. And really, when you go back to the root word of partner, it's somebody that's working with you on this project. I have felt it from top to bottom. It's, it's been an outstanding process. Um, I'm quite surprised by the end result because in the middle of master planning, I was very sure we needed two distinct different buildings. And those two buildings were in the $5 million range. And at the end, we didn't have the budget for that. And I thought our project was going to fall apart. And y'all kept with it, and we ended up with a uh, in budget, you know, slightly over three million dollar type project that was affordable to us, that satisfied all the needs that the two buildings were going to bring us in one building. And so that that's a that's an A plus card. Let me ask you another question. You know, in our process, we talk about that at schematics, we give you a guaranteed maximum price. Mm -hmm. Only three things can create a change order. You actually change your mind about something you want. Right. A concealed or unknown condition that's encountered or else a uh, codes official that comes in. and But as far as us coming in and say, oh, gee, we missed this, we didn't understand that this had to be yeah. a firewall. Or... There's been zero of that. Yeah, yeah. They, they, it's, they, you yeah. guys absolutely prepared us for every, even in pre-drilling to see if there was rock before we dug somewhere to make sure we weren't going to hit a big surprise. You carried us down those paths to eliminate all the surprises. There's not been, in my mind, any big surprises at all, or small surprises. It's been very complimentary. When we've made a change, we all saw a need that we could not recognize earlier, but what I'm going back to is in the process, of following your process, discovery was done to, dis 
to determine everything we needed so well that there wasn't change orders. No really surprises. Needed. There were no surprises. So which is why we're we're at budget right. with more outcome of product than we even expected. Hence, like our courtyard that was going to happen in phase two, got pulled forward in phase one. Our sanctuary was going to get a light upgrade, and it got a really heavy upgrade. And all that was done uh, within this uh, GMAX and change order. How do you feel, Dan, when it comes to the fact that it's an open book relationship, and we're telling you that if you're saving money over here, we can apply it over here. We wait till there's a point in time that we can kind of assure you that that money's going to be saved. Were you able to, to do a lot more to the building or to the project because you had recognized savings early enough to go back and do that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, one thing that Jack did for us, which was very beneficial, we had, we knew, we knew our G-Max and Jack even had that broken down in all the different phases of construction. There were savings throughout the job that we were able to turn around and spend on doing some other things and there were some savings at the, at the end, end of the job. Is, is, this would be a correct thing if I were to say then is that not only did you get a guaranteed maximum price at schematics, mm -hmm. but you also had a very fluid, open relationship on cost so that you could add more things or change things as the project was going along mm -hmm. without being hit with a change order, but by keeping you informed that here's an opportunity for you to take savings here and incorporate something in a future phase into this phase if you'd like to do it. Would yes. that be a fair way of saying very it? Well. Yes, very fair. Dale kept not, he didn't just keep my building committee happy, he kept the entire staff here at church happy and all the lay people that got to micromanage and watch everything he did. And, and There's not one negative word on Dale or Jack. These guys, they, they rocked it. They did really, really good. And Dale's our superintendent. Dale's your yes. superintendent on site. He knew, he kept the thing together and did a great job. I know that, that your customer service side has rolled down into these guys. Um, Steve from the um, design side up front very engaged with us, came to meetings, listened to us. You know, at one point he said, you know, if you want a spaceship, I'll make it, but I won't do it without complaining. And we didn't get a spaceship. We got a beautiful building, and it, and it really works out good. Um, there are no complaints about the final design. And, you know, in summary, um, as Covenant, we'll probably go into phase two a lot quicker than we thought. We, we had 49 people join last Sunday alone. So, yeah. so would you say that the by putting this new front and new uh, public uh, recognition of right, of seeing Covenant when they ride by that that's made a difference in attracting the unchurched or those that are and there's a roll in Sunday school attendance has almost doubled since we started this program. How, how do you feel about the fact that we were insistent that we do a 25 year vision plan for your site uh, uh, and then back up and say okay now that we've completed that vision plan this is where you need to build your next building. That process was key to us because we have lands on either side of us that have come up for sale during the time that you guys have been with us for the last couple of years. And without that master planning, we as a church may have elected to purchase some of those lands to be able to expand to. But with the master planning, we know we can go to a thousand member church and, and not need to purchase the lands on either side. So it has been instrumental in forming us already and it also gives us the roadmap for down the road. So it, it was uh, is the way to go. Well, I'm very flattered with the things that y'all have talked about, but I'm not naive enough to believe that everything's perfect. All right, here's the cons. <laughs> All right, um, this will be the part you edit out. Uh, what we're going to do is I want to talk about a few things. I want to remind you from the top that you guys have an A-plus grade. You've done an outstanding job. Um, you know, from when he came in and snuck in and came to church here before the, the chance for y'all to propose to us, just to figure out who we are, that showed engagement. You guys have been here from the beginning, You've done an excellent job, and we've gone through that. Um, a couple of points of constructive criticism is one, you know, if someone asks you for an eight page RFQ, you've got to limit it to eight pages. Uh, you almost lost this job over that, it was tough. You can thank uh, Darren, actually, who had an exposure with you and some other projects and felt good. And we, we just had a feeling, and, you know, um, we just had a feeling that... There's you, a song about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we had a feeling about it, but we, I'm glad we went through with it. The thing that I want to give you on constructive criticism is we, you guys, in following the process, Covenant got so excited about a front building and back building plan that was in the $5 million range when... Our historical attendance and giving says we can only borrow X, and X was three million. You needed to, and you tried. 
you tried very hard to hold us accountable to a GMAX number that we could live with, but we kept wanting to, to dream. And we dreamed for a, a few months too long in that, that creation process. So, um, Can I ask a question there? Yeah. How do you do that without offending the client? The whole program was solid. Then we, as a church, wanted to hang on to it. That's when you needed to bring in possibly outside people to say, hey, been exactly where you are. You guys got to get real with your numbers. Take a little bit of time to explain to them, look, you can dream for a little while, but on this date, we've got to nail a number down. So would you suggest that future clients need to trust us when we say give us a number that you can live with? A lot of people have the idea, well, I can't trust a contract. You'll need to go back to Covenant and other churches. You've made 80 churches? 100. 100 now. I mean, it was 80 when we started, so y'all knocked out a few. And, uh, and you, you need to get the new churches that start with you to talk to the folks to say, you can trust these guys. They are a partner. They're not against you. They're for you. They're working with you. They're there to save you money. But again, in summary, uh, the process worked. The trust is there. Uh, I remember early on wanting to double check this or double check that. It took me a little while to build trust. It's a lot of money. We gave you guys over $3 million. I believe you gave us that back. I think you've given us an excellent product that um, we could not have done by ourselves. The project was adding capacity to our church, but we took the existing church and completely remodeled it, as you guys know. As a result, the people that walk in from the outside feel it's a brand new church with new energy and new excitement, and it has really boosted the numbers in the church. So it's been, a, it's been money well spent. Dan, you worked with our guys on a weekly basis, and and we're involved with Jack and Dale, our superintendent. Right. What kind of constructive criticisms can you give me for our guys or the way we operated in the field? I mean, it was a pleasure working with them. I'll start off with that. And um, Jack and Dale, I mean, it, it's, as far as I, I can't find any negative things, to be honest with you. I mean, it was, it was a big project. I'm in a construction business, so I, I understand it. Um, I understand the problems that come up. Um, and they, they dealt with them very professionally, uh, not just from the construction side, but we did not just a new building, we did a lot of renovations inside, and you're working with people, moving people out of one office into another office, they need to know where can I go to go to the bathroom, how do I get down this hallway, and, and Dale did a tremendous job um, just coordinate, coordinating all that before it became or could become an issue. Uh, we did have a uh, wedding that I was aware of um, after the, just after sanctuary was complete, and I know we still had construction going on in the back. Neil, I actually know the, the, the father of the father and mother of the bride, and they were really nervous because they saw this massive construction project taking place just leading up to when their daughter's going to get married in our sanctuary. And by that point, I had enough confidence with you guys that when Jack told me it will be ready. I wasn't worried one bit. I said, it'll be ready. And it was. It was done weeks before her wedding, and it went it went great. And they were the first wedding in the new sanctuary. And it's, it's um, you guys, you know, either you're building in a little buffer, either you're, you know, or you're just really seasoned at it, or a little of both, but you didn't miss your dates and you didn't miss your money. You did good on that. How, how much growth have you all experienced? Um... Was it happening while it was under construction, or did it mostly yeah, happen? Yeah. We, we budgeted a decrease in attendance through the construction phase. We actually had an increase, and that had an effect on our bottom line, which was good. Probably could have built more, but we, we budgeted that. We also budgeted, I think we used a 5 or 6% annual growth, and, and we've blown that out of the water. And, uh, you know, that there's a lot of growth going on, so we're pushing a thousand members right now of the three services, somewhere in the 900. I think we were yeah. in the high sixes before. So we're seeing immediate gain, you know, from this investment. And it is an investment. It's an investment in reaching out to others. The fancy front, that, that was, that brought them in. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the, you know, that's been a work, that's worked for us. You guys have brought us through your processes, through your experience, through your construction management, through your architectural design, you brought us an end product that right now has far exceeded our expectations. It's been within our budget. The fundraising far exceeded any expectation we had on fundraising. And as a result, we have built something that now is producing 
results. People are coming to church here. We're getting more people through the door. Uh, Sunday school attendance is off the chart. Our church attendance is growing like crazy. And it, it's actually growing faster than we budgeted. And it's a result of the product. You did a good job. Thank you very much. Well, thank you all for taking time to meet with us. And once again, I congratulate all of us on a great project. You guys did an awesome job. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff.